It's Cape Chronicle. I'm Jacob McClellan. The Better Business Bureau has opened up shop here in Cape Girardeau. I'm joined now by Regional Director Joey Keyes. Joey, thank you so much for coming to talk with us. Thank you for having me, Jacob. Well, first, um, what exactly does the does the BBB do? What's the Better Business Bureau all about? Well, the Better Business Bureau is a nonprofit business organization funded by our accredited business dues. Um, so we provide many services to consumers, businesses, and the community alike. Um, a lot of our services they do overlap for businesses and consumers. So I'll touch on a few of those, you know, quickly as far as you know, for consumers, you know, we offer business reviews for the consumers to go to our website or call to uh, check out businesses before they do business with them. And on this review, it gives uh, the business name, contact information, it gives their uh, consumer reviews, business review, as well as complaint history. Um, so that's one way you know, that we can help consumers find a business that is trustworthy, that they can feel comfortable and confident doing business with. Um, and also with, with that, businesses, you know, they can use their business review as sort of a web page for them to reach out to customers you know, and use that as a web presence you know, if they don't have a website currently. And on that, you know, we have a request a quote feature where a consumer can request a quote from a business or a type of businesses where they can reach out to all business such as contractors and it'll send it, all our credit business contractors, it'll send that customer's information, sort of what they're looking for. At that point, the business can then reach out to the customer, you know, and, and come give them a bid on the, on the project they're looking for. And we also do a lot of community events as far as, you know, mixers and we do a lot of press releases as far as consumer scams and tips. And, you know, if, if sometimes if a business is, uh, has enough you know warnings as far as you know complaints from consumers we can also issue a warning on, on a specific business as well um, so that's a, a tip you know we can help consumers in the area um, so what do um, what do businesses need to do in order to become accredited with the with the BBB well there are uh, there's many requirements for a business to be accredited you know they have to meet our requirements we have different standards we judge them by and you know, some of them being you know, length of time in business you know consumer complaints and if they address the complaints or at least you know acknowledge the complaints and try to you know work with the consumer um, also you know free from government action that sort of thing but we do have a you know pretty good vetting process to make sure the business are accredited because you know that's that's what our history and our foundation is built on is trustworthy businesses and it never looks good when a business <laughs> loses that accreditation as well Exactly, because you know, once you're accredited, it's showing that at some point you have been, you know, a trustworthy and you know, accredited business. So it's good for you. So once you lose it, you know, we've issued a press release recently. You know, as far as you know, in St. Louis, a business that lost their accreditation. So you know, a lot of times, you know, we do make that public so consumers are aware. Now, um, we we're talking about this new office opening up here in Cape Girardeau, mm -hmm. but the BBB has had a presence in Southeast Missouri for for a long time through its St. Louis office. Um, but why, why is it important that there's now a, a local office here that's going to be servicing you know this region? Well, there's um, about 112 BBBs nationwide, and what we've discovered nationally is that it's it's good to have a good, solid home base location with branch offices throughout the region. So we have a hundred, we have uh, 92 counties serving Eastern Missouri and Southern Illinois, and so what we did about four years we opened an office in Columbia, and you know, it was great as far as you know reaching our mission and you know expanding the BBB mission in the, in the Columbia marketplace. And so you know we did a lot of research, and Cape was the next the next step because you know you know we have a very large spread out region here in Southeast Missouri, and Southern Illinois. Our region alone is 28 counties. I believe there's 15 in Southern Illinois and 13 in Missouri. So we go all the way down to the border of Arkansas, and we go all the way over to border of Carter County. So we've got a very large region to cover, and so it's it's hard to service that many people especially when it's in St. Louis, let alone in Cape Girardeau. You know, we have, we have such a broad region. So what types of, uh, what types of scams are the, are, the most, are the most prevalent right now? Well, a lot of times, you know, scams, if you see a lot of media coverage for something, that sometimes that can be an indication that scammers are going to pick up on that and try to hit people with it. You see a lot of scams targeting elderly people. Uh, mainly, you know, elderly people are very trusting. You know, they don't want to just hang up on you. If they think it's a scam, you know, they want to you know, listen to what you have to say. They don't want to be rude. And so we have seen, you know, recently we've seen Medicare scams, um, grandparent scams where, you know, your grandchild is lost somewhere or, you know, they're in trouble somewhere and they need to send the money so they can get out. Um, a lot, and also a lot of government scams for IRS, IRS goes, you know, people call us and you owe money for IRS. And um, these scams can be very elaborate and very convincing. I mean, they can, they can fool almost anyone. Because, you know, they may even call, the caller may even show up like an IRS or government number. So, I mean, they can be very convincing. What are, what are some, some, some red flags that folks should look out for for these types of scams? Well, for IRS goes, you know, they're not going to call you. And a lot of times the government in general is not going to call you, whether it's for a grant, again, you know, Medicare, insurance, that type of thing. A lot of times the government's not going to call you for something like that. Um, you know, anytime someone's high pressured and wants to get your information right then, you know, that can always be a red flag. So you definitely want to be leery of any high pressured, you know, those types of sales. Always make sure, you know, before you give your information out that you're, you know exactly who you're talking to and, you, and it's someone you want to have your information. So why does the, um, the BBB do uh, charity reviews uh, as well? 
Well, you know, there's uh, many charities, you know, nationwide that are requesting donations, and you know, you, you get hit constantly, you know, by phone calls, some emails, mail, you know, going to stores, all the time. You get, you know, requests for donations, and so um, when this happens, you know, it, it's hard to keep some charities from others. You know, some have very similar names. You know, in October, you know, it's Breast Cancer Awareness, and there's so many breast cancer charities. It's hard to keep straight sometimes which charities are which and which ones are legitimate and which ones are not. So, you know, we offer charity reviews, you know, that we, you know, hold our charities to these standards to make sure they're accredited. So, what are some of the types of issues that you want to hear from consumers for them? Well, you know, if you have a complaint with a business, we take complaints on any business, um, whether it's accredited or not, you know, and what we do, we serve as a third party where we try to get conversation between the business and the consumer because, you know, when you file this complaint, you tell us, you know, what you're looking for. So then we go to the business and say, this is what they're asking for, and, you know, how do you think we should resolve this? So then they, you know, submit their response, you know, as far as to the complaint. And so we try to be a middle ground as far as getting some communication where hopefully, you know, we can find a common ground. And we actually estimate only one of every 10 phone calls we receive is a complaint. Most are actually consumers looking for a business that they can trust. So uh, consumers can definitely reach out to us as far as finding a contractor, a bank, anything like that, you know, that they want to feel an extra trust and confidence in before they do business. How about if uh, consumers have a good experience, for instance, with a contractor or a business or something like that? Do, do, you, do, you, do you hear from consumers often when, uh, when they've had a good experience with somebody? That is part of uh, the, you know, the web presence as far as for the business reviews. We do offer consumer reviews. And what's good about our consumer reviews, you know, we do verify with the business that they had you know, a, biz a transaction with that business, that way it's not just anybody posting about this business. So we do, you know, encourage you to pr provide, you know, positive business experience as well. What, what's, the, what's the best way for consumers to reach out to the BBB? Um, I would say definitely it's the website, bbb.org, or you can call our, our phone number at 573-803-3190 as well. We've been talking today with Joey Keese. He's the Regional Director of the Better Business Bureau in Cape Girardeau. Thank you so much for coming by, Joey. Thank you, Jacob.